While you were calculating how many kidneys you need to sell to afford Apple's 10th anniversary iPhone, you might have missed MIT's Hydrogel Fish Grabber and its mixed reality roller coaster. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we're more than excited to welcome back science guy and protector of truth, Bill Nye. I'm Bill Nye and I'm here to dare I say it. Save the world. A team of researchers from MIT's Soft Active Materials Lab have put a novel spin on the classic arcade claw game. Instead of prizes, the quarry is unsuspecting goldfish. And instead of a mechanical claw, they're using a soft robot made of hydrogel. Hydrogel is a tough, flexible material that consists almost entirely of water and is nearly invisible when submerged. The gripper opens and closes by pumping water in and out of the series of chambers. But the MIT team isn't conducting this research to build a better fish trap. They hope to eventually develop squishy hydrogel hands that can perform delicate surgeries inside of people, or at least extract toddlers from other claw machines. If roller coasters or VR make you want to hurl, you're going to want to stay clear of Six Flags, the new revolution galactic attack. Man, even the name is a mouthful. The mixed reality ride starts solidly grounded in the real world. But as they hit the first drop, riders enter a chaotic space battle. The amusement park giant says that the visuals and coaster are in sync so you won't get nauseous. But try telling that to your stomach when your brain is trying to deal with even a nanosecond of latency and decides, nope, time to empty your gut all over your Samsung gear wearing friends. The new ride will open on February 18th at Six Flags Magic Mountain and Discovery Kingdom. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Netflix figures it's losing about $2 billion in revenue by not showing you ads. SpaceX announced plans to launch rockets every two weeks starting February 18th. Researchers successfully tested an injectable male contraceptive gel in monkeys. Samsung's QLED 4K TVs will start at $2,500. And astronomers spotted a white dwarf pulsar for the first time ever. Have a good weekend, everyone. Remember, science is your friend.